Claremont couple now faces more than 200 years in prison for what prosecutors call horrific child abuse of their adopted special needs kids. Today, their adult son also faced a judge after being indicted himself. Tonight, only on WCPO 9 News, reporter Sean Delancey breaks down the history of this case and how you can help prevent something similar from happening again. Bailey Edmondson entered Claremont County Court hours after his mother, Matthew. The pair facing new charges for what prosecutors called, quote, heartbreaking and horrific forms of punishment from Matthew and husband Charles Edmondson's five adopted special needs children. Withholding food to the point of starvation, withholding water, withholding clothing, being forced to stay in a basically dungeon room in the basement in only diapers. Prosecutor Mark DeColvey says that a flood of tips from the public led to the additional charges, despite neighbors initially telling me last week they were shocked by Matthew's indictment. I never saw her mistreat them. Yes, she would make them mind, but when they played outside, they, they were happy as ever. The Sheriff's Department says that this all came about because a different adult adopted son accused Charles of sexual assault in 2022. Now, I went through court documents from around that time and found that the probate court still awarded Charles guardianship of that adult son later that year. The docs show Charles told an investigator about his son's accusation. The investigator included it in his report to the court alongside an evaluation that the son was, quote, one of the most vulnerable people that I have met due to mental illness. In December, a magistrate found Charles competent and appointed him guardian. Charles was indicted based on that accusation a year later and eventually convicted. There are things that each of us can do to help these children. Tracy Cook runs Pro Kids in Cincinnati and says you can spot signs of abuse. Withdrawal, aggression, odd comments, extreme fear are all signals of potential abuse. People often hold back and don't report because oh, I'm not sure. not sure. You don't have to be sure. Yeah. Cook says you just have to call your local jobs and family services for help. A judge ordered Bailey Edmondson held on a half million dollar bond. He raised Matthew's bond to a million. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.